Hello, John here, and this is Sunday. I've had a a week off sort of thing because I've been uh, moving from one uh, machine, one la uh, laptop to another computer. I've gone from, oh, I've put it away now, I've gone from a um, how can I put it? Let's press that, get in focus. I've gone from a <laughs> massive 17 inch i7 laptop with um, 24 gig of RAM and I think it was a terabyte drive. And it was showing its age. It was a, I think it was a first generation i7. I've had it for eight years I think yeah and I decided it was time for a new one in fact I decided it was time for a new setup and you know um, so a couple of weeks ago I bought myself a brand spanking new computer a uh, Dell Precision work um, workstation laptop 15 inch I'm not carrying a big 17 inch around anymore oh, it's too much effort and I maxed it out with 64 gig uh, it's got two terabyte SSDs so yeah that's two one terabyte SSDs on it um, I did a transfer test I transferred a seven and a half gig video file from one to the other. It took three and a half seconds. Wow! <laughs> my old one, my old one would be doing it for three minutes. So yes, it was it. It is fast, and I, I, I my patrons know I had a bit of problem migrating from one to the other. I backed up. The whole thing. I've still got backup on a four terabyte portable drive. Backed up the whole thing. I wasn't messing around with data. I backed up the lot. And then restoring it, I had big problems. Um, I restored it, and it restored all the data, all right. But then I couldn't get access to the data, and I, it was it was a stupid thing. I restored it with all the security, which is not on the new laptop. Because it's different s it's a different SID account number now for me on there so it's not the same one and so I can see it so I had to redo it again and that's why it took me so long so I did a test my last video which was I think 50 minutes on the old laptop took nearly took over three hours to render yeah over three hours I think it was three hours and 20 something minutes did the test render on this machine 1 hour 24 yeah I'm happy I'm really really happy so to complement the new laptop the, the workstation I decided to do the whole lot so Here's my phone, and I don't know if you'll see it on here. I don't know if you see it on there, but there you go. That's my new setup. Let's see if we can get it in focus. There we go. So there's the laptop. I've got now two 27 inch curved monitors that are um, not, let's get this focused again. They're not sitting on the, t they're not sitting on the computer desk. They're actually on arms. Brilliant, I can move them about and everything. Bought myself a, a, a proper docking station for the laptop so I can just unplug it. I literally press a button, take the, take the um, laptop away with me and I'm gone. It's so impressive, my other half wants one. 
Yeah, she, <laughs> she, she wants one of these now. So I've got to think about that. But my patrons help me buy this stuff. With the support of my patrons, I've managed to be able to do all this. So I can produce um, videos quicker, the editing software. I don't even have to render it when I, because on the old one, to watch it, I had to render scenes so I could see if they were okay. Don't have to on this. It's, it's near enough real time rendering. It's brilliant. Anyway, I digress. Anyway. So that's why I've been away for two two weeks, effectively missed one week in videos. So the reason why I'm talking about this is one of my patrons, Mark Shepard, has just released his version of Neptune Lander. And I've been playing it with it this weekend and it's brilliant. <laughs> so much so it makes mine look rubbish. But, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick review of his code because he's done it in different ways and I think it's if he's learnt 6502 which I think it is I think he has done from doing research and watching my videos I'm really pleased because this is the reason why I did the channel was to teach you guys 6502 coding and to see if you could produce the same thing as me. But he's produced it better. And it's making me look bad. So, <laughs> it's not a bad thing. That just means I've got to up my game now. Oh, work and all this stuff. Anyway, so, we are gonna go to his GitHub site. We're gonna download his code and we're gonna have a look at his code. And I might do a comparison because I'm telling you now, I did a comparison while I was away this weekend and my, my, my game's rubbish compared to what he's done. And I think we should celebrate and look at somebody else's interpretation of what I'm doing on Neptune Lander. And I'm all for it. I think it's brilliant. Right. With that, I will switch over to the computer and we'll take it from there. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Take care. Hello, John here again. Right. So we're going to go on to uh, GitHub and get Mark's uh, source code. So I've I'm following Mark as you can see his his GitHub is here so let's click on that. So this is going to his uh, Lo Lo uh, Neptune Lander repository. Let's see what else he's got on here. Oh, C64 listings. Okay, let's have a look. So holding Okay. Programmer's reference guide, so he must be adding all the game all the programs. Oh yeah. So he's been typing in all the programs in the programmer's reference guide. Uh, what else we got? Machine language for absolute beginners. I've got that book as well. Input magazine. Oh I've got all of those. There's there's four volumes, mate. Where's the other two? I've got the... Ooh, and Commodore 64 Games Book 2. Ooh. I've done that. Melbourne House. I bet that's the Melbourne House book. Yes. I've done that. I've done them all. I've done them all. I ain't done a video yet. But I've done them all. Right. So, <laughs> he's doing the same thing as me. So... 64 recoding. Inspired by... Oh! Inspired by me. And an attempt to learn and improve my 64 programming skills, I've decided to recode some old basic programs into machine language. Oh. Oh, he's doing book one. 
It's doing but one. So, is that mine? Did I? That's the one I did. Just sit back. Right, changes made to assembly version. None. This is straight translation based heavily on... <laughs> me. I'm getting famous. Anyway, we digress. So, let's go to the Lunar Lander. So this is his Lunar Lander. And he's... Uh... I'm getting everywhere. Cool. Right, let's download it. Right, so we'll download the zip file. So I'm not going to clone it. I will be doing a video about GitHub at some point because it's very, very useful. Right, so it's put it in probably downloads. Downloads. Yep, there it is. Oh, giving secrets away. <gasps> Beta tests of CBM Products Studio. Shh, don't tell. Don't, don't tell him. Don't tell Arthur. Been giving the secrets away. Right. So we should have code. Yes, we do. Right, so let's fire it up. File. Downloads. Master, master. That gym wire. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, so this is a, the basic version. <laughs> you crashed game over <laughs> <coughs> yeah so this is this is very similar to mine anyway we're here for the machine go on so I presume game main is the start right so he's initializing the variables initializing the screen initializing the the gauges and initializing the sprites so he's always oh, not doing any frame loops not doing any frame delays that means he must have got his fractions all sorted out that's what I've got to do to mine I think right initialize variables let's see game bars so there are all the variables so he's got xi low fraction and integer, y fraction and integer. So he's same methodology as mine. Few major minor micro velocity. Oh, okay. Right, it's back to main. So where's in it bars? In it bars. Game source. Aha! Okay, so he's initializing everything to zero. Load sprite, load one into thrust sprite, load two into gravity, and directional sprite, and horizontal inertia, and explosion frame. And he's loading four into thrust, and velocity minor. 6 into velocity major, 8 into fuel minor, fuel micro. Okay. So that's doing the initialization. Init screen. I think I've just seen that. Uh, subs. Init screen. So he's setting it to black. Oh, he's setting it to all black. Uh, setting the screen to space. Initializing the BIC and printing the level one terrain. And it gauges away, that's in it, yeah. White, blue. So I've got a green. Oh, he's got two. That's two red areas. Uh, Alright, okay. Right, I saw an ish bright initialization. User input, so so he's setting the spread. Oh, he's set. Oh, this is what I'm not doing. I'm not setting it back to nothing. That's why I keep leaving the um, 
And when it dies, that's why it keeps leaving the uh, sprites on the screen, because I don't set them to nothing. I might nick that. Right, so he's loading, so loading few major. If it's not equal to zero, go to left. If it is equal to zero, it goes to minor. If that's not equal to zero, it goes to left. Oh, so that's why he's doing his fuel test. And if he's run out of fuel, he just returns back out. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot simpler than mine. Okay. So he's doing test for the left. Adds the horizontal. Sets the sprite. Adjust the fuel, does right, does the same thing, adjust the fuel, fire, subtracts vertical velocity, does the sprite, oh, oh, okay, and then adjust, oh, two lots of fuel, and then adjust the gauge, okay, so, Adjust the fuel, so it, it decrements the micro one, loads it, if it's e compares it with 255, if it doesn't equal, it comes out. Okay, if it crosses over, so basically saying if it crosses over, then it loads the fuel rate, stores it in the micro, so re, re, re initializes the fuel uh, micro, then it decrements minor, does exactly the same thing. Okay. Okay. Display fuel. So it loads 062D, so that must be the screen location. Then loads fuel major. And then subscribe subtracts 40 from it. And then loops round. Okay. So fuel major must be the number of rows is left in the tank. So we got subtract, 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 and then if it's equal to zero, load seventy-two, subtracts the minor, and then stores that. Why load seventy-two? Why do you load? Ooh, hang on. No, 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 no. 72. But that's, that's not the character. Aha! 72. Oh, I see. Oh, no. This is a fuel, isn't it? So it's going this way. Going that way. I see. Right, so the, so the minor is actually the character number. So what's left is the character number and that defines the pixel. So the micro must be the fractions. Okay. And he's doing it for the, he's always oh, doing the same thing for the velocity as well. Okay, so he does that. So displaying the velocity. So he's doing Oh, he's adding this time. He's adding 73, so he's going the other way. He's not subtracting, he's adding. So 73. Ah, oh, yeah, he's going this way up. Oh, okay. As I use the standard character set, he's actually predefined his graphics. And that's the gravity calculation. Update the sprites. Collision detection. LDX high. Not in safe zone, so he's implement he's implemented the safe zones. Got the debug. Okay, so flow, is that the same as mine? Oh effectively, yeah. Memory. Oh, this is where everything's located. So he's actually copied. <laughs> right, so he's implementing it the same way as Derek has. So this is not a program, this is a project. 
Right then. Shall we find out? <laughs> let's, let's find out. So it's Control F5 to do the project, isn't it? Control F5. Get my fingers on the buttons. You ready? Yep. Wow, look at the speed of that. Oh, I love Oh, I love those gauges. Love those gauges. Whoa, slow down, slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. Wow, slow. Oh. I like these gauges. I do like them. I might be nicking this. Wow, that is quick. That is quick. Uh. That's really, really quick, that is. Whoa, wrong way. Wrong way! <laughs> How can we make a game that we can't play? Right, let's get some slowness going on this. Right, does he implement... Yeah, so that's a safe zone. Half with that fuel. Oh, oh. So there was a little bit of reserve in the tank. Let's see. Let's run that another fuel out. Because there was a little bit of reserve when it. So we went down to the bottom. Yeah, and then it's run out. Kablam! Right, just for comparison's sake, let's load mine in. So that must. That's Mark's. Right, let's load mine in. Right, F5, and you'll see the difference. Here we go. Oh, I've run out of fuel. Run out of fuel. So Mark's been pretty generous with the fuel as I'm not, so I'm gonna to have to change that. And as you can see, and this is where I was on about where the sprites are left behind, so yeah. Gonna do a bit of that. Gonna do a bit of that. I do like his I do like the way he's implemented the graph. Do like that. Do like that. Okay. Let's close it. Load it back up. So here isn't oh that's mine, isn't it? <laughs> Right. right, so here is an example of a person who uh, I think has been learning 6502 has been using my videos as a learning tool, which I think is brilliant. The fact that he's built something based on what I've been doing and made it better, I just think is brilliant. Puts me to shame a little bit, but don't worry about that. We'll sort that out. And I'm loving this. So if any of you guys are out there that are doing this, let me know. Because I'm interested to see what other people are doing with what I'm doing in videos. Because this is the reason why I'm doing it. I'm hoping to get people back into machine language, even though it's for 30 year old computers. But I think this is great. Mark, well done. And I can't wait to see what you fix in my other videos. <laughs> I think this is brilliant. Well done. Anyway, enough gathering. That's about, I think that's half an hour now. I hope you enjoyed this look at one of my patrons um, version of Neptune Lander. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, Fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment. 
and if you would like to support my channel consider becoming a patron of mine all the money made in that, that is collected for the channel goes back to the channel as I've demonstrated in this video with the new technology I've just bought and with that I will see say see I will say see you in the next video take care bye <laughs> I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.